Hello YouTube. So um, I thought I'd make a video of how I like to order my parts and uh, maybe this will help you out getting good deals and what to look for. So I got an upcoming video coming up where I'm probably going to change out my uh, upper engine mount on my 99 Honda Civic. So this is just kind of the steps I'm going through to uh, check out my parts. So I like to go um, to the dealer site. In my case I'm dealing with Honda. So I go to the Honda site. Uh, if you're not sure what it is you can Google it but it's basically eStoreHonda.com eStore.Honda.com and uh, you put in your year make a model and um, sometimes parts are not always where you think um, they're going to be and that's kind of just dealer specific like you th say an engine motor mount well you think it would be in the engine compartment well it's not it's uh, I believe it's under body and air conditioning but so once you've located your part um, then what you want to do is uh, I like using the IPB I find it um, that's what the part looks like apparently I could order the whole thing I'm curious what that part is the whole thing is $178 whatever that includes or just the motor mount is $150 from the dealer so that's an OEM part price um, I'm, my dealer would probably work me out a deal Honda's really good about their parts um, they're really easy to work with and uh, actually one of the probably the best dealer parts outfits out there that I've worked with. I have a local Toyota guy and I have a hard time getting parts to them just talking with them and just working with them um, and some people say that's the local dealers the issue and they don't have other people don't have trouble getting Toyota parts but um, me in my area I do um, but the hot into parts are just great and they're, they're uh, it's really nice to work with and they'll do research for me and everything and help me get the parts I need and uh, even order parts so I can compare them and then send them back and things like that so the j Honda just bends over backwards to help me get the parts I need and I really appreciate that um, so anyway so what we got here is um, by looking at the um, parts breakdown I, I'm looking at the part and I'm pretty confident I've got the right one then I look up the part what I'm looking for is the price and the manu and the manufacturer or Honda's part number and with that then I can start doing some research and so I'd probably go to like AutoZone in this case I'm going to compare O'Reilly's and AutoZone and I just went through there drilled down and I see that their price is about sixty-one dollars ninety-one cents at uh, O'Reilly's and um, let's see and AutoZone is $63.99. So you know you're getting sort of a fair price. And they're both really, you know, they're within $10 of each other. Um, so that's going to be kind of like what your average guy out on the street is going to get. Which is about usually roughly half the price of the dealer price. Um, you're taking a step back in quality. The dealer part is probably the best one. Not always, but most of the time. Um, so then, so that gives you an idea right there. You could save quite a bit of money if you went there right that most people go out. Then with, um, because you have that part number, then what I like to do is I go to Amazon and I search for that part number. And um, there I found kind of uh, the same part for $20 with free shipping. And, uh, and I usually do the same part on, or look it up also on eBay. And I'm slowly losing using Amazon more just because of the, a lot of times they'll give you the, if you get the Prime, you get the two-day shipping. And it's been really reliable. It's not 100%, but it's like 95%. And why I say that is sometimes they'll say, try to sell you stuff, you order it, and then they like, oh, we're out of stock. And, you know, it's kind of like a, then you, a wait game. And it'll be two days from the time they get it back in stock. That's happened to me a couple of times. Um but 95% of the times it's like I order stuff and it gets back to me uh, within two days and, and I'm really pleased with the um, delivery time and the pricing and it's easy to to use um, eBay tends you can I probably could find a little bit of a better price on eBay um, but with Amazon uh, you feel like you can I've heard people say that they, they just sent stuff back because they didn't want it and they'll refund their money so um, eBay is like that, but you got to deal with pay, PayPal. Anyhow, so 
So you see we went from basically finding the part at $150 and the key here is we're getting the OEM part number. Then check your local major uh, outlets in your area. In my case O'Reilly's and AutoZone. And uh, see if their prices match. And you could go that right. One nice thing about it, if I get like the AutoZone one, oops, they're uh, they usually throw in the lifetime, they call it limited lifetime, but they usually pretty much a lifetime warranty. So if I buy this one, one nice thing, as long as I'm the owner of the car, if it breaks in five years, they could supposedly take it back and they'll give me a refund or give me another uh, motor mount. Now, if I sell the car, then all those warranties apparently go away. And so whether that's legal or not, that's for the courts to decide, but that's what's going to happen if you buy another car with all these AutoZone parts on it um, and you sell the car the people don't get the benefit of the limited lifetime warranty usually that's how it works um, with Amazon there's no warranty with the parts basically I mean if it broke right away you could probably try to dispute it uh, but you know you're never gonna find these guys in five years from now so but the price at the price you could buy for twenty dollars you know you could buy three of these <laughs> and so and then compared to the OEM price of $150 you kinda get the point anyway so I hope this video makes sense and um, I'll, I'm gonna order the Amazon one um, and I hope it kinda helps you out there maybe you haven't thought about how you so you're kinda new to ordering parts and you haven't thought about it so just to recap and then I'll go is uh, go to the dealer site find your part price and your uh, part number and then you can go to researching your local Napa, AutoZone, whatever you got, O'Reilly's and then kind of get a middle of the road price and then you can hit eBay and Amazon and I'm slowly favoring more towards Amazon. Anyways, I hope this helps you out in ordering your parts and uh, good luck there. Thank you for watching.